In July 2010, a federal district court judge in Massachusetts ruled that DOMA is unconstitutional insofar as the federal government is not recognizing the valid marriages of gay and lesbian couples in Massachusetts, and that there is no rational reason for stripping gay and lesbian married couples of all of the protections and also the responsibilities that come with marriage under federal law. GLAD is keeping the pressure on by filing a second DOMA case, this time on behalf of five couples and one widower. These are folks who are married in their home states of Connecticut, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And once again, we have found DOMA causing harm to married people. DOMA essentially requires that married gay and lesbian couples fall through the federal safety net that is supposed to be there for married folks. In this new case, we show just how broad DOMA is. So for example, we represent two women from Vermont, one of whom is a postal worker who applied for leave from work under the Family Medical Leave Act in order to take care of her spouse through knee surgery as well as through other treatments that she needs relating back to an injury she had sustained in the military. And FMLE leave was denied. Linda DeForge was not able to be there for her spouse Raquel Arden in the same way other spouses can be there to take care of one another. And we represent a gentleman in Connecticut named Gerald Passaro. Jerry was with his partner, Tom, for 12 years. They married in the month that marriage became available in Connecticut in November 2008. But unfortunately, two months later, Tom died of lymphoma. Tom had worked as a chemist for a company and had vested in the pension plan there. But because of DOMA, and only because of DOMA, Jerry can't get the survivor benefits on Tom's pension. And Jerry needs those benefits to live. DOMA means federal employees are unable to procure even health insurance for their spouses. We're litigating that issue in Massachusetts as well as in this new case. We're litigating the issues of social security benefits and survivor benefits, death benefits, spousal benefits to make sure that once you've paid into the system, it's there for you when you need it, when you are in your older years or when you have actually lost a spouse. And as before, we are also litigating the issue of federal income taxes, believing that uh, people should pay the same amount of taxes when they're identically situated and you shouldn't have to pay more taxes uh, simply because you're a gay or lesbian married couple. We're representing Bradley Kleinerman and Flint Gary from Avon, Connecticut. Brad and Flint moved here from California because they love Connecticut and wanted to raise their three boys here. These are three boys who they adopted in California through the foster care system and have been devoted to them ever since. So devoted, in fact, that Flint gave up his career as first a police officer and then a teacher to be there and be a full-time dad. DOMA imposes essentially a tax penalty on them of over $1,500 a year because they are not allowed to file as married. That $1,500 a year is money that could be much better spent on their three sons. We represent Joanne Peterson and Ann Meitzen. Joanne worked for the better part of three decades uh, in federal service, most of which was with the Department of Naval Intelligence where she worked as a civilian. She, like other retired federal employees, wants to be able to put her spouse on her health insurance and it's very consequential to them because Ann at age 60 has developed a very rare lung problem that makes it extremely difficult for her to work. They would like Ann to be able to have health coverage through Joanne so that Ann could at least work part-time. She loves her job, she wants to keep working, but to work full-time just to get health insurance is a burden on them and it's a burden they shouldn't have and wouldn't have but for DOMA. DOMA affects people from all walks of life. We found that in our Massachusetts case and we're finding it here as well. All these people are working people. They all need the protections that the government provides for married folks. These are important benefits for people. Social security, paying only your fair share of income tax. As a federal employee, having access to health insurance and other benefits for your spouse on the job. And of course, these other benefits like family medical leave, the federal pension laws, these are also extremely consequential as a practical matter in people's day-to-day -day lives. And that's why we're here, is because DOMA is hurting real people. And we want to keep the pressure on and make sure that the courts declare it unconstitutional and inoperative.
at the soon as possible date.